welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. As I promised, I was going to do a little short video on the uh, rest of the grounding for the radios. Let's start with this little panel here. This was the simplest way that I could find to get the cables into the house. And it's just an MFJ uh, pass-through panel. And as you can see, the uh, coaxes come in on the outside of this panel, which is grounded. All right, it's grounded. The panel itself is grounded to the ground rod, I'm going to show you. And then on the other side of the window inside the house, uh, you know, you can just connect up your coax to it and run it to your uh, either your antenna switch or... Uh, you know directly to whatever equipment for instance the uh, cable you see on the left the furthest coax that's actually to a little shortwave radio uh, a little uh, holocrafters that I've got inside so <clears throat> got a special antenna for that so anyway I'm using a pass-through panel the panel itself is grounded into this ground rod right here which is down about eight feet into the ground. Uh, no simple way. Uh, there's some videos on YouTube that show you how to put this in using water. I wasn't that smart, and I had to use a sledgehammer to get it in the ground, but it's, it's all the way down in there now. And uh, by the way, this ground is usually kind of damp because it's uh, back here where the sprinkler system is in the flower bed. So... The ground is, uh, you know, kept uh, with water on it. It's not, uh, it doesn't really dry out uh, as I keep the plants watered. So that's always uh, good to help the ground. So as you can see, I've got that braid coming right out of the window. Now that braid goes directly to the antenna tuner inside the house. So it couldn't be more than maybe four feet long five feet long something like that is the total distance of this uh, silver braid that you see here and of course it's clamped uh, down onto the uh, uh, ground rod <clears throat> with a regular electrical clamp that you can buy at uh, any kind of electrical supply store or home depot or places like that and uh, I am running one uh, lightning arrester and you can see that lightning arrester down there on the right hand side down there and that goes to the shortwave antenna which is uh, way up above the uh, 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 chimney uh, on top of the house so uh, I, I attached a, a lightning arrester and grounded it to that rod uh, for that particular antenna. Now, what you're looking at right here is a uh, line isolator. It's a little device that uh, basically stops uh, uh, common mode, mode currents from coming on down the coax into the shack. So you can see I'm stopping it right here outside the shack. So let's kind of spin around and I'll show you uh, the other antennas and how they come in here but basically drove a ground rod into the ground eight feet down that's a 10 foot ground rod and uh, then clamped braid to it now you may not be able to notice it but I've got a six gauge uh, copper wire uninsulated regular grounding wire it's attached to this ground rod also and it runs under the flower bed there around the house as far as I could get it around the house until I came to the driveway and I didn't want to go under the driveway but it's probably running around the house on the ground uh, yeah probably 50 feet of that <clears throat> and that just gives me a little bit more grounding uh, spread out along the ground for this ground rod. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary to do, but I've always heard that it, it does lower the noise level 
if you've got some noise it does help lower the noise level and, and I really don't have much noise on my HF radio so maybe it's working all right let's take a look up here on the mast I've shown this before in other videos but just want to show it to you again uh, my radio club helped me install some of this. We ran a messenger line, a stainless steel wire, between this building and this building right here. And then we uh, tied the coax to it. Alright, to keep it up nice and high above the ground. Uh, you can see I've got a Comet GP9 dual band vertical 17 feet tall which I use for VHF UHF the little uh, antenna on the side is uh, just a backup it's not really connected it's in case this one fails I can connect this smaller one up and still remain on the air just an emergency I've got a ground wire you can see it coming down and it comes down in the straightest way possible over to another ground rod which I have over here again 10 foot into the ground and that is grounding the mast uh, that the antenna is mounted on so the mast, uh, mast uh, is grounded to this ground post right here uh, again with six gauge wire grounding wire and just ran it up you know and ran it up onto the uh, see if I can get out of the sun here a little bit and get you a little better shot there we go and it just basically attaches to the mast and grounds out that big vertical antenna there the little box you see is my QSO King long wire and again it's grounded into the mast and into the uh, ground that I showed you a minute ago so that's a long wire uh, all band long wire I can get 180 meters on it no problem uh, 160 meters I'm sorry and uh, all the way to 10 so uh, it runs over this tree down to that fence and then it takes a left hand turn goes down the fence it's about 127 feet long again a little uh, in fed long wire that's what I use for HF seems to work quite well anyway that's my grounding out here in the backyard and again the main ground is very very near the radios which are right through that window and the uh, braid is very short and straight uh, di basically directly from the antenna tuner uh, straight into the uh, ground rod all the other equipment is grounded into this piece of braid in a single point inside the shack so uh, all the equipment comes uh, into this ground and directly to the ground wire okay uh, we're going to go inside now and i'll show and you a of couple course of we're back things. here in the shack and uh, just to show you uh, there's that window and you remember right on the other side of that window is that ground rod that i showed you just a second ago and that's about how far the ground runs it's just straight outside that window so I tried to keep the rule, you know, short ground as straight as possible. Seems to have worked. Uh, I don't have any RFI in the shack. Uh, even when I run the amplifier or anything else, the computer doesn't shut off. Uh, or the USB ports don't uh, disconnect. Nothing happens. And uh, get no RFI back into the microphones or anything like that. So the ground system seems to be working very well. Anyway, short video, just talking about grounding. By the way, I'm using uh, either half inch braid or one inch braid. The main one that you saw outside was one inch braid. 
So that's the main braid going outside. Anyway, have a great day. As I usually say, I wish you clear skies and 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later.